what's up guys? Welcome back to uh, Zellulous Bill. My name is Peyton. I'm Aaron. And uh, this is our new project truck. Um, so we're kind of just going to run through it, show you guys what we're doing, the vision, the build, ideas, everything like that. And get you guys started. Yeah. 1983 yeah. bullet wagon on wheels. Hell we yeah. love it. American made. Yes, sir. Coming back at you. All right, guys, here we have it. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown. What we're doing here is we are going through builds with you guys. So this is a marketplace build, purchased on marketplace, fixed in the garage, and turned around for a profit. And we're gonna show you how we do it. This is a 1983 GMC High Sierra. For those of you that know, you know. <laughs> and what we're gonna to do to this one is we're gonna give it a paint job. Lift or no lift, we don't know yet. We're gonna give it a full interior. Paint will show you inside. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this. We're going to freshen it up, guys, okay? As you can see, they're always oxidized. They're always a little beat up. Door cards, you can replace, you can repaint them. You can do a lot of stuff. Stay with us, we'll show you what we're gonna do. You can see the typical stuff. Paint, let's show them the rust. Because rust happens, guys, and we know it. She is a sweetheart, though, and we do like her. Typical Chevy rust behind the wheels, above the wheel wells, your cab corners. They're always getting a little hated on, but we're gonna fix that up. So we hope you guys stick with us. We're gonna give you a breakdown of everything we're gonna do, cost, expenses, everything included, coming back at you. Okay, here we go for the recap. Oh yeah. Here's the part of the show when you guys learn what we paid for the car, what we hope to get, how quick we're gonna get it done. Okay? Oh yeah. Where are we at? So uh, obviously this is powder, uh, 83 GMC, 2500. Uh, pick it up off marketplace, $2,100. Um, budget, we're hoping to be somewhere right around that $4,400 range, um, including paint, wheels, tires, maybe lift, um, all the miscellaneous stuff, we're hoping to be right at 500. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh, inflation, parts are unavailable. Have to stretch legs, try and do a little bit of uh, digging for those, so they give us a $500 budget just for anything that could go right, could go wrong, maybe take girlfriend for dinner after. Uh, time limit, um, as you guys will know, everything we do here is uh, projected to be about a 30 day turnaround from cradle to grave, meaning the time we get it, all the work's done to the time it's gone is hopefully about 35 days, or 30 days, I'm sorry. Uh, total on this between the budget, the miscellaneous hand paint for the truck, hoping to be right about that $6,500 range. Um, pretty good, takes a lot of man hours, everything like that to uh, get it to that point. Uh, we're hoping to sell it for anywhere from $14,500 to twenty grand. Um, I think we're going to be in that seventeen. He's, he's cutting ourselves short, hoping to be at fifteen. Fifteen k folks, I think we're good. <laughs> Um, and so that leaves us with a net profit of about $8,500. Um, so yeah, maybe drop a comment down below, see what you guys are thinking we're going to be. You guys can get the vision right. Um, so that's right. Yeah. So the recap, $2,100 paid. Pretty good price for a truck like this. Oh yeah. She's a sexy beast. <laughs> she really is a sexy beast. Yeah. A lot of roast. Interior needs a lot of crap. It does. It is this beat and turn. Interior is going to be one of those things that's going to be a night and day turnaround. That's right, but that's where the your bucket sits, so we want it nice in there, guys. So hopefully if we get the 8500 buck profit. This is the one that sketches me out because <laughs> we know how much work that is yeah. and we know how much paint that is to us. So yeah. let's get it done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. Cool. Well, well on. <laughs> on to the next. Go on for everything that's holy. Yes, sir. Yeah. We can check and see if we've got spinach. I was going to mark those. We got oil in the back. It's starting to come through, so we got no. Comes out of the top of the push rod, so they're all yeah. straight in the back. That back 
Thanks for watching guys. Now you know what we're up to. Follow along with us, keep watching. We'd love to show you what we come up with. Yep. We're excited about Old Potter here, so we want to see you next time. Yep, that concludes episode one. Stay tuned, episode two, we're probably gonna get rolling into all the body work and everything like that. So uh, stay tuned and yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Adios.